favorite Mark Burley memory is? My favorite Mark Burley memory is... My favorite Mark Burley memory is... My favorite Mark Burley memory is the save in the World Series in Game 3. It was about 1.15 in the morning, and of course, that's the first time he had done that all year. Anything to win at that point. He was in the locker room, having started earlier in the series. Never closed the game in his life, went in and got him out. Everett pops it up. The White Sox are up. Three games to the pressure never seemed to get to him. Without Mark Burley, I don't think the White Sox win the 2005 World Series. He had such an amazing season that year, and there's no way we win the World Series if it wasn't for Mark Burley. The White Sox have won the World Series! Chicago, go crazy! My favorite Mark Burley memory is that first no-hitter. He was no-hitter against the Texas Rangers. I was in the stadium at that time, and it was phenomenal. The crowd was on their feet, would not sit down after the seventh inning. He walked Sammy Sosa and then they picked him off. It was amazing. Get some! To do a no-hitter. That's like a childhood dream. Down ball. My favorite memory of Mark Burley was his perfect game. When he pitched the perfect game. The perfect game. The perfect, perfect, perfect game. No hits, no runs, no nothing. I was here with a bunch of family. We just randomly got tickets. My mom and I ditched work that day to go to the perfect game. Listening to it on the radio with my dad. Watching it uh, with a bunch of people at work. Great day, July, it was awesome. The energy was just off the charts. It was like the fourth or fifth inning, we realized that nobody was coming on base. The fifth and sixth inning, people started to really root for it. Seventh inning, people say, hey, there's a perfect game going on. Don't talk about it, you can't say it out loud. After the eighth inning, then you know you're going for history. This pitch is swinging a long one. Left center field, Wise on the run. When the ball was hit, everyone thought it was gone. It was silent. When Dwayne Wise made the catch. Makes the catch! It was unreal. I couldn't believe it. So you didn't know if he caught it or if he had missed the ball. When they called him out, the place just went crazy. What a play by Wise! Mercy! Mark Burley's perfect game was pure baseball magic. Woo! Yes! 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 27,000 people here going crazy. It was an incredible feeling. It took a few minutes to kick in. Everyone was just out of control. It was fitting that it was Burley too because it's always such a fan favorite and I think the fans enjoyed it just as much as he did. People were crying, they were so excited and happy for him. Couldn't have happened to a better person. Great clubhouse guy, uh, great with the fans. Everyone respected him, everyone cared about him. He was humble. Down to earth. No ego. Didn't expect any fanfare. Went out there, did his job. Never complained about anything, and that's what Southside's about. He was just a no-nonsense guy, the way that he pitched. When he got the ball, he was ready to pitch right away. My best memory overall is just how he worked fast. 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 Quickest pitcher in the game, you know, he played catch for the catcher. Every time you knew what you were going to get, he was just a model of consistency. He was just Mr. Defendable. The White Sox could always count on him. Was our workhorse for years and years and years. Just typical Southside, blue-collar work ethic. Drafted late, really had to work his way into Major League baseball. He works hard and he earned it. Located all his pitches, the outside corner, the inside corner. It was just finesse. It was actually, it was an art form. Had an awesome pickoff move the first. Great pickoff move. He was quick with his pickoff move. And he was an excellent fielder as well. Gold glove pitcher for many years. Ground ball right back to the mound, speared by Burley. Unbelievable fielder. I mean, obviously the one memory that I'll never forget was, I think it was opening day. The ground ball to him, he booted it to foul territory. Flipped that ball underneath his legs. Look at the play by Burley. Mercy! All in one motion to Paul Canerco at first base. How's that that game? It was unreal. And then you realize what he had done, and you had to watch it over and over and over and over. That's as good as I have ever seen right What there. I loved about Burley was his just love for the game, his passion. He loves the game too, and he wants to have fun. Mark Burley always had a good time. He was here just, you know, to have fun and play a game. He's always laughing, always having a good time. My favorite Mark Burley memory is his little slip and slide action on the tarp during a long rain delay. Everybody loved the guy, and then when you do something like that, you realize he's a, a real person and he's fun. Yeah, he kept it loose, and I think all of his uh, teammates appreciated that. He was out there to play a game and have a good time, and he took this whole city on a ride with him. Congratulations, Mark. It's great to see your number being retired. It is well deserved. Congratulations, Mark. Mark, I congratulate you. I'm, I'm a big fan. Pretty big Burley fan. We actually named our golden lap dog Burley. 
He's the reason why I wanted to become a pitcher when I was a little leaguer. We loved you over the years. We're so proud of you and so happy for you. Number 56 forever. You are in a great class with a lot of other White Sox. Kids are going to be able to look up and see just how much you meant to this organization and this city. Thanks for everything that you did for this city and for the fans. It was great seeing you pitch in Chicago for so many years. Congratulations, Mark! Chicago loves you!